Okay, so part three, um, I'm just going to allow the Lord to speak through me right now. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely going to come here for me now. Mm. What do you what do you want? What do you want to what do you want me to say, Liz? Mm. Okay. Okay, Lord. Wow. Um, so the Lord's really speaking today. And so this is really like mainly a warning. Um, I may mainly a warning for a lot of people out there because uh this topic is not even easy to bring up when I'm just being obedient. Okay, so the Lord's really pointing out something right now. Hmm. This is to call people out. This isn't to condemn anybody, but this is what the Lord really wants me to bring up. And I'm just going to be blunt. And I'm sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings, but at the same time, I'm just being obedient, and so I'm I'm not sorry for coming on here and being obedient, and I'm not sorry for coming out here and doing what the Lord's calling me to do. I'm not sorry for that. In fact, I want to do whatever the Lord's calling me to do, so I don't that's that that I don't apologize for that. So if any of you don't like my content, you can gladly unfollow me. Um, but I'm just putting it out there now, um, because I'm not I'm not gonna hold anything back. But I'm just going to be blunt. The Lord is saying, shame on the people to those who come up against God's children. Oh, wow. For they will see judgment. And they're going to deal with God's wrath. They're really going to deal with God's wrath. And I'm, I'm just saying that now because mm, 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 Psalm 105.15, I want to say that's a verse. It says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. And so the wicked thing they can get away with what they're doing and just, you know, come up against God's children and think that God doesn't see that. But God sees and knows all. He is all-knowing. So, if the wicked think they can hide, they can't. And for those, for those of you that have the gift of discernment, you're going to be able to know if somebody is um, has any unclean spirits and if they're being used by the enemy. You're going to know because God will continue to increase your discernment. And if you've asked him for wisdom as well and you have, you, you, you know, the Lord has given you wisdom... Most importantly, discernment, spiritual eyes to see and spiritual ears to hear. You're going to know. The Lord is going to reveal to you the people that are being used by the enemy and any counterfeits or just people that are mainly being used by the enemy that have given themselves over to the enemy. Or maybe without even realizing it because those people might have so, have some um, willing or unwilling sin in their lives that they haven't repented of. And... They could also be lukewarm or they're, it's easier for them to get used by the enemy because they're not at their strongest point just yet. But, or you, it could even be somebody who's not saved. But I think that's just so important that we are praying and asking God for discernment. So whenever we come to upon these situations and whenever we were confused and we're not sure, but if, so that way we know whenever... You know, we notice something that's off and we're going to immediately know the Lord will reveal to us if they are, you know, being used by the enemy. If there's any, 
if they're yeah they're being willingly used by the enemy without maybe without even them even realizing it but those people need to repent but there might be people out there that do know that they are and those people might be giving into witchcraft different things dabbling into it and he's not having it the devil's not having it i mean with he's not having it with letting the children of god go because the devil is trying his very best He's trying his very best to get into God's children. The Lord's not having it with the devil right now. And. Mm, yeah, he's not happy. So. um, He's really encouraging you guys to repent. If you. Just repent, please. At the end of the day, we all free will. So it's your decision whether you choose to accept God into your life or not. And it is your choice whether you repent or not. But at the end of the day, he will, those wicked will be under judgment. The devil's mad, but at the end of the day, it's like, he's there's not much he can do. The devil knows what's going to happen to him when, when on Judgment Day. He's going to be burning in the lake of fire. And so, I just, I, I, I have to put the devil in his place every day and remind him of his place. And where he belongs under my feet. Um, Luke 10, 19 um, is a scripture that I'm thinking of right now. Um, this is behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing will injure you. We have the authority to trample over the devil like snakes and scorpions under our feet. So I have to put the devil in a place every day and the devil is surely mad whenever I do that, but I don't care because I'm just like, I rebuke the devil because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not putting up with it. And whenever you're coming up ac um, across, like, agents of Satan that are working with the devil, I think that's just so important why we we should be asking God for discernment because we may or may not know if they are working for the enemy. And now I'm just going to say this. Control and manipulation is witchcraft. So if you notice those, then that's witchcraft. And whether they're dabbling into it or not, it could be they're dabbling into it, or it could be maybe they have willing or unwilling sin in their lives still that they haven't repented of, and they've given over themselves to the enemy. But it, I think that's just so important we know this because spiritual warfare is real. It's real. I've witnessed it myself. I've been witnessing it lately, and it's real. I, I like I I can't make that up. Like we, because unfortunately, it's it's a real thing. But that's why the Lord will put us in a season where he'll train us and teach us how to be with spiritual warfare. And then when we're fully trained and prepared, he's going to send us out into the places that he wants us to go and his perfect timing. So that'll be during the wilderness season where he will prepare you. He will, he will prune you. He will work on you. He will teach you things that you need to learn. And trust me, it's not an easy season but once you get out of it it's going to be so worth it because the lord will really will really be be able to use you fully once you are prepared and ready and yes he can and will use people and he can use anyone you know what i mean but he will make sure that we are fully trained and then once we are fully trained he will send us out into the places that he wants us wants us to go and so yeah um, that's a lot, but I really hope this is helping somebody because for we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the rulers of this darkness of this world. Hold, hold on, hold on. I may have to make a part, um, four for this.